Hey, here we are. Hey, look at it. Looks even better than when I saw it last time. Whoa, well, it's bright and breezy today. A beautiful spring morning actually. And what a morning I'm gonna have today because I'm off to pick up our, my, my Fergie. My Fergie 35 that was belonged to my father and was on this farm for 40 years. And we tracked down with the help of Radio Gloucestershire, we tracked down to a place near Melksham. So me and Farmer P are gonna go and pick it up. So this is, I'm gonna make this into a two part of this recovery of this vehicle because realistically the first part really is today we're gonna to go and pick it up but it's not coming back to the farm straight away. It's going to Ian's and it's gonna be there for his uh, charity event he's doing and some people can, if they wanna see it, they can sit on it and stuff. So this is part one. Part two is where I'm gonna actually bring it back to the farm and I wanna keep that as a separate video because that is kind of like a little bit of an emotional roller coaster for me, I think. Um, it has been, even though we haven't got it yet, it has been, I, I've had a lump in my throat quite a few times actually because, because of the kind of, relationship I had you know with my father and with the tractor as well because it was what I learned to ride it on and everything um, and it's incredible do you know I realize how lucky I was to find it because since I put out there that I was looking for this tractor I've had a number of people contact me loads of people all around the world actually from Canada and America and Australia New Zealand um, some people contacted me just to say good luck and also congratulations when I found it. But also, I was surprised how many people contacted me who said they're looking for their tractors from their youth as well. Um, and, and some people have been looking for years and, and not been able to find it. And I didn't really realize how lucky I was because I kind of, it's really funny. So when Radio Gloucester woman interviewed me about it, she said, uh, oh, I don't think you'll find it. And I said, I think I will. And I was confident I'd find it. The real reason I was confident I'd find it, <coughs> excuse me, um, was because we sold it in the pre-internet days. So we sold it 2004. So it was sold before people were using smartphones and looking on the internet to buy stuff. It was sold probably via um, local newspaper. So I figured the guy who was selling it, the dealer we sold it to, probably sold it to someone in a fairly local radius because it wasn't no one from Scotland was able to find it unless they had the local Western Daily Press I expect it was in and I also thought it would probably people buy these tractors they tend to keep them a long time so I had quite high hopes that the original person might still own it that bought it 20 years ago and sure enough that's what's happened <clears throat> so um, that's why I was fairly confident I'd find it but I, I didn't really realize what a challenge it is for other people but um the thing I will say, right, and we're going to go and see David, who's got it at the moment, and he's 77 years old, so 20 years. I think I was incredibly lucky that um, he was the guy who bought it, because he's kept it just as I like it. He, what he's done, he's, he, he's, I wouldn't say he's a bit like me, but he's done what I would have done. He's tidied it up, but he's not over-restored it. He's not made it into a shiny thing that is left in a show area never used but he's he's tied it up and made it a better tractor than when it left here and in many ways he's done me a favor really he's almost like being the guardian or custodian of it for us because i don't think if we'd kept that tractor on the farm it wouldn't have been looked after like he's looked after it and uh so he's he's actually done me a favor by having it for 20 years because he's got it into better shape than it would be now if i'd left it on the farm <laughs> Um, but the funny thing is, I was looking for a 30, I, I mean, it's only in the last couple of years, or last year actually, I've been thinking about getting a 35, and it's only in the last couple of months I actually thought I ought to get ours, the one that we had, rather than any old 35. So it's kind of, talk about luck really, at the, the time in this right, that when this chap David was looking to get rid of it, because he bought a compact tractor last year, and... Um, he said, oh, I was thinking of getting rid of it anyway, but he said, oh, you know, I might have left it in the shed. I might not have bothered, but um, very lucky that he, um, so many, so much luck. Very lucky that this tractor didn't end up in the Outer Hebrides. Very lucky that um, 
it was found very quickly and, and locally. Very lucky that it was it was kept like it was, and very lucky that David is willing to sell it to me. And uh, I'm not going to discuss price. I think that's between me and David. And if someone talks to me, um, I'll probably share with them. But I'm not going to put it on the internet what I paid for it. I think that's private. But he didn't try and take me for a ride. He charged me what it was worth, and I'm happy with the price. And I think hopefully he is. So. All in all, a good thing. Right, I've yacked on quite a bit. I know you're waiting to see us go and get this tractor. We're going to go now. We're, well, I'm going to go up to Ian's, and then we're heading on down. Holiday traffic. Don't know what that's going to be like. Let's hope we're not stuck in it. But I've got also, I've got a little surprise to put on the tractor when we get there as well. Right, let's crack on. There we are. I can see the Land Rover ready to go. You must have a trailer on it. Let's go and have a look. Ian's going to get snacks. We well, have got the trailer ready. Look, it is. Here we go, look. Good old Landy. We've got about an hour's drive. We've got loads of room on here. Look at that, that's going to get a Fergie on there, isn't it? We're like the Blues Brothers. We haven't got any packs of cigarettes. We've got a full pack of cigarettes. It's 190 miles to Chicago and let's hit it or something like that. I don't know what. We're going to Melksham. We're near Melksham. Uh, 50 miles. 50 miles to get a Fergie. So the Funky Farmer Fergie, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Going on there. Here's the man himself. Have you got snacks? What have you got? Uh, chocolate bourbon. Oh, nice. And Jaffa Oh, don't leave those with me. I'll <laughs> eat the whole packet in one sitting. Oh, Ian, I've got something we've got to put up somewhere. That sounds, that sounds drag, painful. Put, put your hand in there and drag out the yellow thing. Yellow thing? Oh. Oh god. It's good. Oh, that looks like a Gloucestershire flag. That's a Gloucestershire flag. Uh, we can drape that over the tractor somewhere when we come back. I got some Bayless wine. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. I've got a couple of them in a pad somewhere. We're travelling in style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the only thing is I want to put it across something, but it's only got holes at the end. Oh. But we'll we'll work that out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we better get it's coming home. It's, it's coming, coming home. home! Tractor is coming yeah. home! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get ready to go. One of those flaggers which takes picture. Ian's just got some visitors, so we're just before we head off. I thought we'd just have a look at this beast. So I don't know what size the engine is in there, but it's a big of a bit of a beast, isn't it? Good old Lamb Rover. We're certainly going to be able to cruise along and pull this fine. Um, nice big trailer. Where's the ramps? You must have them in the back, I guess. Let's better check the ramps. Oh, we've no good getting down there and having no ramps, would it? Where's the ramps? It's got straps. Or are they stored underneath? Ah, there they are. Right, that's good. Right, as soon as he's ready, we are good to go. And I got my Gloucestershire flag which um, we took a photo of. So we're gonna put that up somewhere over the tractor on the way back, I think. That's kind of like a nice, because we're coming back to Gloucestershire. It's been out of the county for 20 years. Right, let's go. Right, we are navigating up. You've got the pace code. Oh yeah, you gave it me, but I'll, yeah. I'll bring it in a second. I won't say it until then. All right, yeah, we're heading off now. So we'll, there's no point in filming four hours of us <laughs> chatting in it. Well, well, well something actually yeah, is quite yeah. funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. do have a good band though. Yeah. Last time we went to, where was it we went to? Was Ireland, wasn't it? Uh, oh, no, no, it was uh, Lama. Trip, uh, Lama. Lama, that yeah. was quite funny. Put the world to rights on the little we road did. trip. Yeah. Didn't we? Right. We're heading out. Yeah. We've got 50 miles to go, I think, isn't it? Or something? Something like that, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Yeah, so, where is that? Hawksby Hawks 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 yeah. I've been up there years ago. You're not allowed to go up anymore. Shut now, isn't it? Yeah, shame. Health and safety. Shame. Health and safety ruins everything. Yeah. Keeps people alive, though, I suppose. Apparently, the iron railings are a bit. Yeah. You can't re lean on the railings. Right, it does look like the sort of thing that would be a liability. Imagine owning that. It's a lovely building, though, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Where are you going? Uh, uh, go the scenic route. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried. We like, I like seeing the Cotswolds. Yeah. There's only being yeah. taxi driven by you, it's in, very nice. The, well, I'm not sure of it. The most There's some more cyclists coming along there. Yeah, yeah wave there the cyclists. 
It's all pretty up here anyway, isn't it? Yeah, this is it's this all is lovely. Scenic, so it's just if I turn right, it was 28 miles. Yeah. So let's see what the recall means. <laughs> 48? No, I've saved three 20, miles. 25. Yeah. But the only thing is your speed will be different, I suppose. Well, you yeah, go but slower it wasn't this go way. Fast. No, I'm not it's in a rush. It's nice. Yeah, yeah we, exactly. We're not in a Ferrari. No, <laughs> I wouldn't be towing a trailer with a Ferrari, no. would I? I don't know if you can put a tow bar on a Ferrari. Put a tow bar on a Ferrari. No. It? What good is a Ferrari, really? Absolutely. Absolutely. No pile of, I got, do you know what was really interesting? I'd rather own this Massey yeah. than a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah I agree. Because what are you going to do with a Ferrari once you've got it? Well, all it goes around like a like, yes, dog. Yes. I haven't got a very big one of those, but I've got one of these. <laughs> You, have to, you can't go no Tesco's in it, can yeah. you? It's just a knob extension that yeah, it is. on a Ferrari. Is I just, we're, not, we're not Ferrari people, are we? No. We're, we're not. I'd rather have a Defender. I don't think me and Ian are ever going to be seen driving a Ferrari. Or if we are, it'd be like a race day. I'd have a go in one. I drove a Lotus, um, what was it, a Lotus on the Castle Goo racetrack. Oh, yeah. I mean, I must admit, the trouble is, I didn't like having someone else with me. Oh, right. Because I had a sort of bloke instructor bloke. Oh, yeah, yeah. And really, I just wanted to say, can you get out and just leave me to do this in my own time? My missus bought me a, is it a Formula Ford? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, race day there, yeah. which you have to go around. I think that was in... Um, XR2s or something, oh, yeah. they went on the track and they, you have to go in with the driver and he yeah. teaches you the lines. And then they, they give you a helmet. The thing is, it was um, the helmet they gave me was wet. No. Oh. So the visor was all steamed up. Yeah. It was raining. I couldn't see where I was going, so I had to drive with the visor up, which meant I couldn't go over 70 mile an hour. Because the rain was stinging the eyes. In the old days, you'd get on there in the Sierra Cosworth or something. Yeah. They were the beasts, weren't they? Yeah, I used to drive one of those as well. Did you? Yeah, you didn't right. have one? No, 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 my boss had one. Did he? Yeah, we used to go rally driving oh, with uh, the boss. He had a um, guard were, track escort. They were the things that all the robbers had, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Because you'd get away from the police in them. Yeah, he had the 4x4. Wow. So, uh, wow. Hell of a yeah. car. I remember, I remember when going to London in that. Ford, going on here? Ford were releasing some new car. So we, we went up to London and the boss said to me, right, well, there's us, as in my boss, and another garage owner, we're going up. We're going to have a drink while we're there at this uh, car launch. So we want a driver. So he said, you're yeah. driving. So that was a Sierra Cosworth, which driving. we drove to London. On the way back, it was snowing. Oh, yeah, 4x4 though, didn't he? It was 4x4, four four, uh, but they'd all had a skin fall. Oh. And a BMW M5 overtook us. Oh my life. On the That's motorway, good. we were already going to say, well, and my boss goes, right, I'm in that, go on, get him. And we were doing like 120 mile an hour down the motorway in the snow in a Cosworth, so. Look how pretty it is round here, isn't it? Yeah. You're obviously on the uh, edge of the um, estate, ba Bath. Yeah. Bath to Bath 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 estate, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're getting ready for the trials, aren't they? Yeah. Trials. Trials and tribulations of horses. Yeah. Oh, look, you can see them actually, they're working on the jumps there, look. Right. I can see, you know, and look, we look across. See. There's a sheep. This is very beautiful. This is much prettier than going to Marwell. Oh, it won't focus. Look, there it is. They're, they're working on some sort of wicker jump. That's yeah. impressive. Looks like wickers as well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's right. Like, it's like plug off of bloody Labino. <laughs> <laughs> this is much nicer. Right. Lovely view. Yeah. This is a tent thing there. That's a bit weird. Oh, it's the farm shop. Is it? Buxton Farm Shop or Burton Farm Shop. Mm. It's, where are we now? Oh, this is, uh, is this Nettleton? Or this is Burton? nice. Nettleton. Um, Nettleton's that way, yeah, post office. Nettleton Road, so yeah. Always lovely driving through the country, Cotswold countryside, isn't it? Well, I'd rather do this than go down the main Oh, because the alternative know, is A46. I think the interesting thing is, right, and I'm guilty of this myself, is that when you go places, you think, right, let's get on the motorway yeah. and we'll go there because it's quick. But you totally miss all the beautiful countryside from England, don't you? Yeah. And I feel sorry for the tourists, actually. So, say you're an American tourist and they fly to London, right? And they go, right, where are we going to go? We're going to go to Bath, we're going to go to Stonehenge. I know, something like that. So the coach goes, right, get straight on the motorway all the yeah. way to the Bath, and then we're going to go straight down to... And you miss out all these lovely villages for shooting there. Yeah, right? a bit of shooting. Um, you miss out all the loveliness of the little villages that aren't on tourist maps, but are beautiful. Yeah. Well, I used to drive this route every week. We yeah. used to go to Lackham College. Oh, right. I did my, arm, my yeah. first set of arm training in Lackham. And we went, oh, we go by Lackham, because I went by it when, we went, to, when yeah. I went to the tractor. Yeah, so on the right there. We took, we went by, Harry was very interested in that. Yeah. I'm still, but he still wants to go to Harbury. Yeah. He's made his mind up. Harbury's great. He's Lackham. gonna be in Harbury within three, four years. Yeah. He'll be there. He's like, He's virtually already chosen he's his desk. He's got one foot in the door. He's he? almost chosen his desk. Has he? Yeah, because yeah. he's like, 
I'm going to Hartbury, I'm studying agriculture. Yeah. There is nothing else I'm focusing Unless, on. Unless, of course, he meets the future Mrs. Cornock and then agriculture might take a second well, seat for a little while. He's not interested at the moment, unless yeah. she's got a Ford 7000. Oh, well, he's, and he's, 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 <laughs> you can find a farmer's door with a Ford. Brand new combine harvester. It's not that, she's got to have a Ford 7000, Harry's married then. Yeah. <laughs> she, basically, could have, she could have a beard in the back of her. The, the, the dowry has got to be a Ford 7000, and then he's, he's just yeah. like, oh, she'll do. Preferably four wheel drive. And a couple of dogs as well, yeah. put it all together, you know. Sold. Yeah. The Hartbury College is his main There you yeah. go. Fair play to him. Right, let's keep going. How many more miles? 19. 19 no, miles. No, 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 19. Yeah, 19. But through Tiddlywink. We're going through Tiddlywink. These place names are just phenomenal. Tiddlywink. Tiddlywink. So it's usually, there's a porch on these houses. It's yeah. Just, oh, it's gone. The head's gone off. Of oh. It. See the chimney on the back there? I missed that. It was, yeah. It's a porch roof with a chimney on stuck on it with a broom. Right. Oh, uh, right. But the head's gone. Oh. Through Tiddlywink. Tiddlywink. What other place names can we find that are so silly? Tiddlywink. We've uh, left the Cotswolds now. We're on the boring bit. This, this is boring, isn't it? It's a bit dull. This is, this yeah. is what, if you're a tourist, you probably see this and don't yeah. see the, what, the beauty of what we saw earlier. Anyway, this is 11 dull. miles ago, yeah. 11 miles ago. Come on, man. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. 1.9 miles. Are we nearly there yet? We're nearly there. We're, we're nearly there. Yeah. We're nearly there. We? We're nearly there. We are down this little lane. It goes wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. How'd you and go? then it goes wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes round, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, and right. you go by these houses and stuff. All right. And then you go right to the very end. And it's at the very end. And then there's electric gates that let us in. Are you saying it twists and bends like it a does. twisty bendy it's thing? It's a twisty bendy, wiggly, wiggly <laughs> thing. So we're just entering. Well, we're nearly there now. You're already there. Nearly there. 0.2. 0 0.2. Yeah come up to his electric, go past this sort of barn here and then we're at the gates, I think. The gates open automatically. Okay. Devises kit, cats and kits in care, cat sanctuary. Wick farm, here we go. Elderly and deaf cats on the uh, drive. I don't no, know what, he, what last time I just gate. drove up and it opened, whether he's waiting for me or I don't know. Oh, there you go. How do they work? They're on the sensors, yeah. yeah. Clever, isn't it? Right, let's go find our tractor. Yeah. Cool, oh, here we are. Right, Ian's all right. We've arrived. Dave is here. Re we're raring to Hello. go. All right. <laughs> so I hear that it's been on the Radio Wiltshire this week, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Monday, I think it was. Sean Hodgetts played the same bit as we'd heard already. So know? everyone in the area knows about this tractor yeah, now, don't that's they? Right. Well, we're going to get it in a minute. Ian's just got to sort out his ramps and stuff like that. Yeah. It's a bit blowy, isn't it? I think it might be a bit blowy on the mic, but let's get this right. We don't want this falling off on the way. No, you wouldn't want yeah, anyway, we've got the ramps on now. David's just having a phone call. Um, and we're going to get this tractor on there. See how it goes. Here's your replacement. That's a lovely little bit of a machinery, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. It isn't going to have the lasting quality. No, I don't think that'll be around in uh, 60 years' time. Well, that's the sort of thing that people would want to use on a, on a tractor run, wouldn't it? Because he can speak to people. Yeah. Oh, this wind doing my head in. Hey, here we are. Hey, look at it. it. Looks even better than when I saw it last time. Really? I love it. I I look at it. Yeah, oh, sorry, Ian. Look at it. Whoa. Look at that. Ian, you're gonna have to get one of these, mate. Oh, yeah. I draw a little bit of sand blast. Oh, look, there is. There's the. Uh, oh, wow. Good. Wow. That's showing up. Cool. Oh yeah, I'll rub that down. Yeah. This is why I'm glad we got this back because it hinges, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I can get that into so low. Into yeah. Sort of sandblaster for you. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll paint that up. Lovely. Yeah. I'm going to put that back on it because yeah. I think um, you need it on there. Yeah. 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 Safe, safety. Yeah. Happy Health and safety. Yeah. I remember it being on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> back with back Yeah, we can lift that out in a minute. Yeah. It's. Oh, you got a, a PTO cover. Yeah, well, well done. Yeah, that was I the one. I had rummage this morning because I thought. I, I wonder what bits were with one, it. But it's not much good, really. Oh, be all right. I'll get a new one. And the end, the, the PTO <coughs> shaft actually touches the end. Oh right. It's somebody's own made version, I think. I'll. Uh, that's the, that's the two ends of the uh, top link. Right, and but you haven't got the bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've got a feeling is I've got. I've got is there? We're going to look for enough. <laughs> I've got a top link at home. Don't worry. I've got that. Yeah, I guess you would. I've got various. I think we've still got various bits from that tractor yeah, left over been. that we didn't. You know, I think. Yeah. I, is there a PTO cover around it? You know the metal bit, like a shield. No, yeah, I never had. I that. think I've got that under <laughs> the workbench. So <laughs> I think when we sold oh, it, I don't think we sent all the bits with it. Oh right, okay. So uh, well, I think we got rid of most of them, but I think some of them were in odd places. Yeah, I think I've got the the guard that goes round there underneath a bench. I've seen oh, right. it. Yeah. So it's really so, swing arm link on this side. That well, that was over there, is it, or was it top link? Hmm. What was that? The, the swing arm link, the adjustable link that goes on here. Yeah, well, I, I've got a couple of those. I think it's the stabilising bar. You might only yeah. need one. Yeah, so you, you only really you need, need one. one didn't you, so. Yeah, um, and you had a rear number plate made because I was on the back was a homemade thing. It was only and, enough. And, and I remember when, they, when, we, when we were trying to work out what this number plate was, I think it was written the other way round. They, they yeah, put the 828 yeah. at the bottom. I don't know why my dad did it that. It was on, the, on there somewhere. It might have been on there. Right. Quite possibly. It, it had me confused, but the logbook says that way round. Yeah, no, oh, that is the right way round, definitely. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a, a draw bar right. with a ball hitch on it. Oh, okay. Which you might as well take. You have any bits that? Sort of, um, yeah. Made up kind of an adapter. So that oh, that'd be handy. Yeah. 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 Nice. Like, unfortunately, the two. I don't know what you call them, but the spreaders that yeah. should go on here, I managed to break them. Oh. I put the hydraulics up with it all on and... Uh, oh, right. Oh, well, you can always make them, can't you? I mean, yeah, that's right. I mean, you can take them... A few people said to me, oh, you ought to get the loader, but to be honest, what am I going to do with it? I don't want to use it with no. a loader on. No. And it's and it's another thing to store and keep. I got enough stuff. You know what it's like. <laughs> you just accumulate stuff in yeah, life, you do. don't you? You clip to me. You start off here. He's a horror. Before you know it, well, you just think, wow, oh, I'm I'm terrible. I'll put that down because I might need that one day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got lots well, of bits of wood about that long. Yeah. So have I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hands up, everybody who's not guilty of that. Because you, you <laughs> and, and the thing is, the moment you throw it out. Is the, the day that you go, oh, I wish I'd kept yeah. that. And you're always looking for that odd bit of just the right thing. Yeah. Did for something or other. Yeah. Anyway, there we are. Oh, Lovely well, job. it's going to get um, loved. I can't think of anything else that is yeah. sort of belonging to it. No, that's Apart fine. from the paperwork. I mean, everything, you, you know what it's like, it's about everything these days you can buy, can't you? Yeah. On the internet, you can just oh, go yeah. and buy the anything, bits yeah. and stuff. And nice that you put a badge back on there, because I remember that, that badge was missing. Yeah. I think this was really beaten. Have you replaced that? I had a hell of a job beating Because that was I really... Did you beat that out, did I you? I did. There's a bit of filler in there. Yeah, because that was... I remember... That was probably me again. <laughs> that was completely mangled. I think I kept whacking it when we were loading and yeah. stuff. And it had all... And I think the grill might have been beaten as well. It did after... I don't know how I managed to do that. Yeah. Just getting too close to things, I think. Yeah, but yeah, no, so you've you've yeah. really looked after it better. I did a little bit of video the, earlier talking about it, and I said you were the right man to have this for twenty years. Yeah, because if it had been stayed on the farm, it wouldn't be in this condition now. It no. would have been left in the shed. Because to be honest, David, it's only in the last year or two I've sort of got to, to the point where I think, oh, I'd like to do something with an old tractor. Yeah, because mm. I had to, you know, grew up and I had to have kids. My kids are yeah. growing up, and everything. but when you're in your youth. It would all be a bit of a joke, really. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah I want well, it was old. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was old and knackered and no good. And, yeah, you've got to have I a new one. It's not shiny enough. New and shiny, I want <laughs> yeah. But when you get a little bit older, you kind of your, your yeah. attitude changes a yeah. little bit, doesn't it? And I mean, I'm still convinced that's the best tractor that's ever been built. Oh, it's a lovely thing. Everything you want to do, it'll do, really. I know. Apart from the loader. Did yeah. you know that they still make these in, in, uh, and they sell them in Kenya? In Kenya, yeah. Is it? So Massey I Ferguson started remanufacturing them in 2015. Really? And they sell them to Morocco, Kenya, and I can't remember where else, but South Africa, I think. Yeah. Uh, so you can still buy um, a brand new Massey Ferguson yeah. 35 in Africa. Well, but for a vineyard tractor or something, it's ideal, isn't it? It's because like, a lot of these yeah. got exported to Africa. Yes. And I think that was probably 80s and 90s when a lot of farmers were getting rid of them because yeah. they were. But I guess that market had died off. Yeah. And then Massey saw there was a gap in the market that people wanted them, so yeah. they've started remanufacturing. Yeah. But I'm not sure whether this is right, but I don't think you can bring them back into the UK because they don't pass the emissions because oh, they haven't got any ad right. blue or any, no. you know. But wouldn't need to. It's under 75 horsepower, isn't it? So it wouldn't come under ad blue. Oh, wouldn't that's it? 75 horsepower right. and over, I think, so, but yeah. There's still a market for them now in this country, isn't yeah. it? Mm. That one that I've got around the corner has got all the blooming... Um, 
what do they call it, you know, the emissions. Yeah. yeah. And it's got a mind of its own. I know. Blimmin' thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this, it's told. I've been around the yard doing something, and all of a sudden it goes... And it, really? The revs go up, right. and it gets hot and smoky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this would be smoky, I'm sure. <laughs> well, actually, that's the point. It does <laughs> use or, or lose... A drop of oil. Yeah. And it did. Well, that's understandable. I didn't when I'm I not, it on that I'm not surprised. Day. I went round yeah. the field with the topper on the right. back a few times. Yeah. And the next time I looked at the dipstick, the oil was well down. Right. So I, you, you have to be in the habit of. Uh, as long as you know that. Mm. That's understandable, though, isn't it? I mean, I don't expect the engine's been touched since it was. Not really. You know. No. Not to say I have the head yeah. off or anything. No, mm. so. Because it runs all right. Mm. And I think it's best left alone. Really. Well, yeah. that's right. And you and you open yourself up to a lot of expense then, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. You know? I did manage to find the ticket. You know, I told you that I did a, an oil seal in the back wheel. Yeah. Or had it done. Yeah. And the brakes were done up at the same time. Mm. And also the hydraulic pump mm. wasn't working properly. Right. It was letting the hydraulics yeah. down. And I got it done by Howard's. Yeah. I found the ticket. So oh, you nice. Can have that. Oh, well, this, all the documentation expensive. stuff yeah. is good. And it doesn't actually, it hadn't improved it much. Right. The, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, it's nice to have the, the, the sort of history. I mean, I'm so lucky that you still got that original green document with yeah. my dad's name on that's it. Because that's important the history all the way thing, through, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I know a lot of people, I, when I was looking, because before we found this one, I had been thinking of getting the 35 anyway, and the amount of ones that I saw that said no V5 or no, yeah. you know, they had no paperwork with them. Yeah. Mm. I think a lot of people, well, especially farmers, they're a little bit haphazard, yeah, you know. that's right. Uh, mate, who's going to drive it out then? <laughs> you drive it out then, Dave. Or do you want to have a gonna, Do you know what? Actually, do you know what? In my mind, I would like to drive this for... Yeah, uh, Jack was right. <laughs> yeah. So the first time I want to drive this, it's up the drive of the farm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's all right. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Sorry. <laughs> I, <get a> bit. <laughs> I have cried every bloody day of this. Day. Yeah. I... We're going to load it up. He's got it sorted. Oh, it's a lovely looking thing. No, it's out really well, isn't it? What a bit of luck, eh? Look at that beauty. Break on. Yeah. But, uh, well, I got my strap on. Well, fair play to you for getting it up there. Look at that. So load it up, look at that baby. Yeah. The Gloucester flag's on the steering wheel, but that doesn't matter. It might flutter about a bit, I don't know. It's ready to go. Look at it, it's a lovely thing. I'm really happy with this. Um, Are you right there loading up here? I just wonder whether the 
Chris has crossed them over, so one, one that way and one that way, because uh, just uh, holds them on a bit tighter in there. No one's going to know what that flag is anyway, are they? I don't think many people know the Gloucestershire flag. No, unfortunately, they should. They might do by the time this is finished. Yeah, I think if I crisscross it that way and then it went the other way. Sorry, I'm not really paying you much attention. Do you need a hand? I better go and get the other bit. He's over in the shed. Right, so he's double strapped on the front, pulling him that way and down, and he's double strapped on the back, pulling him this way. So if I have to stop quick, the idea is we don't end up with that in the cab with us. I think we're good to go. Oh, all right, yeah. let's just send a picture. So Kate at Radio Gloucestershire, I'm going to get a picture, it's loaded up, look, it's properly raining there. Ian's getting in, he's no fool. You take the, did you take the flag off? Did you take the flag off? Yeah. Where is it? It's in the car. Oh, okay, yeah, it wasn't going to do any good. No, I know, it blow all over the place. Right, let's go then. Let's hit the road, Jack, come on. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Are you eating all the snacks? You're eating all the snacks, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, I may just thought you were, you were taking some. Oh, yeah, have you left me any? Uh... Yeah. Oh, that's all right. As long as I get a doodah. As long as you get a doodah. I want a doodah. Look, at these. Oh, we're going to get waved off. Right. <sighs> Put the seat on. I'm not that made the way. Oh, he's taking a picture of us leaving. Mm. Fair play to him. He's what a lovely you, man. Lovely man he is. There we go, we got it behind us. A bit of a red tractor. Yeah. Hit the road. Back to one. And there's the modern equivalent of the 35 there, a little yeah. bit more beefy. He's off. Are we following him. We. Oh, yeah. You're on camera, mate. He's Whoever you are. He's. <laughs> we make him famous. Look, there yeah. he is. There's his number plate. Whoever you are, mate. The funky farmer's following you with a 35. Yeah. We haven't had any toots yet, Ian, have we? Not a I was hoping someone would toot. Yeah. To say, look, you've got a 35 on the back. Maybe we'll get one in Yank Kennel. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I've just missed the sign, that's typical. The tractor has just entered Gloucestershire for the first time in 20 years. So a significant landmark was going over that motorway bridge back there, yeah. which I didn't, I failed to film because I didn't turn the camera you on. You were too time. busy talking rubbish, weren't you? I was talking rubbish, yeah, we were talking, talking, talking rubbish in the, yeah. in the cab. It was entertaining rubbish. And then suddenly there's a sign, welcome to Gloucestershire, that's yeah. our Gloucestershire. So, the tractor is back on home turf. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more video when we get to Ian's, but this is really the end of part one nearly nearly yeah. uh, because part two will be a proper job when it gets back on the farm which is going to be soon soon next video right we're going through where are we going through we're not far from your place now are we uh so acton turville tor martin tor martin it's all lovely yeah. around here isn't it we're gonna go right here this is a nice little place here look this little yeah. little Sort of, that must be a toll booth at if one you, time, I expect. Yeah, if you go left there, go down there, that goes back down towards Old Sudbury. Yeah. Right, Littleton Drew. So if you're if you're an American tourist or something, this is I've not, oh, this is where you come to be a chocolate box, England. Yeah. This is what you want to see, isn't it? Yeah. It's all very it's idyllic. Because the English country villages love it with the Americans, don't they? Yeah. Oh, look, it's an American. <laughs> I didn't know that, I can hear him, he's half a mile away. <laughs> it's a nice place. 
I love that colour on there. Oh, yeah. Farm House would have been that colour originally. We used to have rough cast on it, and they were taken off by my dad. On the home straight then now, Ian. Yeah, the last yeah. half mile. How's it pull with uh, the weight of that on the back? Yeah, no worries. Fine. Yeah. Half 124 GGs in here, that I just pull out anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Easy run there. 60, it'll be 60. 66 miles. Was it? So. That was all quite an easy run, wasn't it? Everyone yeah. was worried about the traffic. There wasn't any traffic, was no, there? Nothing to speak Absolutely of. Absolutely fine. Yeah. And then, oh, good old girl still on the back. Yeah, I'm glad to say it's still there. Because it's still it, there. It was, me, was, bad. It was yeah. me strapped on there. Well, so. what would it be like if we if we got in your yard, we got in the back, and there was no tractor there? Well, if you'd ask the question, how's it pull? I'd go, it's pulled really easy. It's really it's well. Like, it's like there's nothing there. Because it's on the side of the road and chipped them now, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> No, no. I, think, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right, yeah. yeah. Let's get it in the yard. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Oh. Right. The eagle has landed. We are parked up here. I'm going to have a quick chat with Ian and then I'm going to leave him to it because you've got a lot on today, haven't you? Oh, it's going to be one of them days today. So I'm going to put this video out on Saturday morning. Yeah. Remind people if they want to come up to your event, what they can do and see. Well, if it's, if it's chucking out a rain, I wouldn't bother. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's nice, um, yeah, so we've got a bar here. That's the bar that's the bar that's going up there. You can just see the right. It's not going to fly away. Um, there's a bouncy castle for the kids. There's various fairground attractions, things for the kids. There is an Easter egg hunt, but they're pretty much all booked up now. Yeah. So if you haven't booked your Easter egg hunt for the kids. Oh, if you just want to come along and chat to me and you, that'd be alright, yeah, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, well, I'll be here in the afternoon, star of the show's sit on the Fergie, yeah. and you can have your picture taken on there and put a quid in the bucket or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Something like that? Two quid in the bucket if, Two it's, quid. if it's with Funky Farm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll ramp this up a bit. Yeah. Mate, thank you so much. No, I will put, I'll put some money in the bucket for what you did today, alright? Yeah, no worries. I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to leave you to it because you've really got a lot on your plate. Thanks yeah. for sorting this all out. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's not a problem. I might take it off the trailer. I might leave on there. I might see you. Alright, it's up to you. Alright. Okay.